I'm hoping to show you how to, um, to set up and populate um, an observation beehive with, with honeybees. Uh, this particular observation hive houses three, three frames. There's a, a brood frame and two super frames. Each frame has the same makeup. Uh, basically, there's a wax foundation which has a template for the honeycomb. The bees draw out the honeycomb uh, by adding more by adding more beeswax, and they use the comb for rearing more bees, for, for laying eggs, and, and um, producing larvae um, in, in the honeycomb, and also for storing honey and pollen. At the bottom of the hive, there's a hole where the bees come in and, and go out. Um, they go through the hole. There's a tube here, and this tube ex will extend through the wall of the building where it will be, be finally located. Um, remove the roof and go down and select some frames. But what I'm looking for is a frame of bees that has eggs, perhaps larva, honey and pollen, so that they have all they need to make their own queen. This will be suitable to transfer. So we've transferred our frame of bees into the observation hive now, and what we shall have is, is a frame with eggs. This, this lower frame, and there's, there's a lot of eggs, other larvae, and also um, pollen and, and supplies, everything the bees need to make a queen. Here at the moment, I'm, I'm nursing bees. They, they, want, um, they won't be flying bees, so they need to be supplied with, with, with food. Um, in this, this container here, it's got a mesh on the top. We can invert this on top of, top of here, and the bees can get access to, to feed. This is like a, uh, a sugar syrup, a uh, fructose uh, syrup, uh, very, very similar to what they get from nectar. That's it. And the bees will be, be able to uh, feed from there now. The last remaining job is, is to, to install this in its final location. Final connection so the bees can go out through, through this wall. Um, some pipes made up to join. Them. 